Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to talk to my next guest because, you know, I, if you know me well, there's, there's two types of guests I love having on the show because they're so unpredictable, and that is babies, toddlers, you know, around those age groups, and pets. And we have some beautiful dogs joining us on the show and some beautiful humans. Uh, Ashley LaDuceur joins me with, uh, from Sit With Me Rescue and you brought Erica along as well um, to take care of a couple of the dogs. But let's talk uh, about Sit, um, Sit With Me Rescue. Tell us a little bit about the, the history behind the, sure. the rescue. So we are uh, an all breed rescue based out of Ottawa. We've been around since 2012 uh, and we kind of specialize in shelter dogs and uh, dogs with complex medical needs. I see. And when you say shelter dogs, well, what do you mean by that exactly? Uh, so we work with a couple of different shelter partners. We work with shelter partners in uh, Ontario, uh, Quebec, and we actually work with a shelter partner in Barbados. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, let's talk about this beautiful dog. Tell me a little bit about him and or her and, and their situation. Sure. So this is Charlie. Charlie. Charlie's actually from uh, one of our rescue partners in Manitoba. Um, they help... Um, dogs, northern dogs in uh, remote locations, so fly-in communities. They have, a, unfortunately, a pretty severe roaming dog problem. Um, and so there are a lot of puppies born that are born homeless. Um, and so the community there helps wrangle them and then ship them into Winnipeg. And then okay. they go all across Canada to find homes, essentially. What a great temperament. Yeah, and so Charlie has a really interesting story. Charlie was almost eaten by a polar bear. You're kidding me. I'm not. Uh, he... Is that the most Canadian story you've ever heard <laughs> in your life, people? <laughs> yeah, there was wow. a wayward polar bear in one of the communities, and uh, they were able to safely relocate the polar bear, but before that happened, uh, Charlie was almost dinner, so a wow. community member ran out and grabbed him, brought him inside, kept him safe, and then he ended up going to Winnipeg and to us. Charlie, you're like a miracle. How, know. Old, how old do you think Charlie is? About yeah. four months. About four months? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. wow. What a young... Um, let's talk about the other beauties that you brought along here sure. that Erica's taking care of. Tell us about these two. <laughs> so both of these dogs uh, were surrounded to us they're both medical dogs so Charlie uh, sorry Ch uh, Chandler was uh, hit by a car um, he ended up with a very severe fracture in his back leg um, thankfully we have fantastic veterinary partners they were able to fix it um, and so he is currently not using it only because it still has some hardware in it uh, okay. to keep it secure but once the hardware is removed he'll have better function of his leg he certainly has the energy yeah right? he doesn't I mean, know that, that, that accident <laughs> did not stop him no, did it? No. Just a beautiful dog. And what about in Erica's arms here? So that's Vega. And Vega is also, again, she came to the shelter. Uh, she was surrendered as a puppy. They thought she had pneumonia. She was only about four weeks old. Okay. Um, and uh, so we took her in right away. She went and had emergency care. Um, and she's alive today because uh, we were able to intervene. Um, something else you wanted to touch on today is pandemic dogs. Oh, yes, Let's yeah. talk a little bit about that. <laughs> um, so unfortunately, you know, we do see a lot of dogs now um, that were purchased at the beginning of the pandemic. Um, a lot of them are ending up in the shelters, but also a lot of them are ending up needing emergency care. Um, really? People have just been unprepared, I think, for, um, you know, going, going back to their regular lives. Um, and so we're seeing a lot of dogs, kind of the two to three year age, um, who are needing, you know, emergency medical care. What a shame. Yeah. It really is. Um, all of these dogs are adoptable, yes. obviously. Um, yeah. Let's talk about that process and, and how your organization deals with adoption. Sure. So we um, we have a website. And so all of our dogs, once they're ready for adoption, are posted on our website. People can go directly to uh, sitwithme.ca, um, see which dogs are available, and they can apply directly on the website. And, and these, the dogs we're seeing on screen, I imagine, are available as well in your care at the moment? Yeah, some of them. So Tifa, who's on the screen right now, she's um, a palliative dog. She actually has a, a cancerous tumor on her pancreas. Okay. Um, so she'll be with us until she's uh, no longer healthy enough, and then we'll say goodbye. But all the other ones are available for adoption. And I imagine you're always looking for volunteers, right? I mean, before adoption happens, uh, you know, these, these beautiful dogs need to be looked after, right? Absolutely. And we do, uh, we're always looking for volunteers. Fosters. We're always looking for fosters who are willing to take in puppies. Um, we do get a lot of puppies from Manitoba okay. because of the need is so high there. Same right. thing with Barbados. Um, and so uh, people who are home more often, willing to do puppy culture, things like that, raise good puppies um, and then see them through to their adoptive homes. Um, but also, we're also looking for people who um, have no other pets. So for dogs who might uh, not be comfortable living with other animals. Right, right. Um, you have a fall auction 
Yes. going on. Tell me about that. Yeah, so our fall auction uh, is uh, on Facebook right now. You can uh, check it out by visiting our Facebook page um, at Sit With Me Rescue and you will find a whole bunch of different items available for uh, bidding. Um, yeah, it's uh, just fun. Nice, I love it. Yeah. Uh, and you've got some markets, Christmas yes. and trivia markets. Tell me about those. Yeah, so we've partnered with Head Office Ottawa. They're out of Canada, um, and they've lent us their space. We have a uh, Christmas trivia extravaganza on November 24th. Um, you can buy tickets to that, and okay. that's a vi that information's on our website as well and on our Facebook page. And then on December 11th, we're having a Santa Paws market. Nice. Um, yeah, so we're <laughs> still looking for vendors um, for that event, um, and we're also looking for... Uh, and if you want to attend, we have uh, Christmas photos with Santa. Um, we'll have vendors there for people to buy things. We'll have nail trims. We have all kinds of stuff going on. What are some, what are some of the you know, recommendations, advice you give to people before they decide to take a dog in, in, into their care? What should they be thinking about? So number one, uh, have a financial plan. <laughs> uh, so yeah. we highly recommend pet insurance. <laughs> it is extremely affordable for, uh, especially for mixed breed dogs. Um, so have a financial plan. If you don't want to go with pet insurance, then have like a safety net. Um, you know, we see it all too often where, you know, we puppies get, you know, we buy a puppy and then they get sick, you know, a week later and you've expended all your money on your pup buying the puppy and you have no money for for emergency care right, so right. always have a, a, a backup um, and also always have like you know a, a plan for how you're going to care for them you know as they continue to grow socialization things like that uh, we know you know with the with the trivia and Christmas markets and of course your your online auction obviously those are ways to, to raise funds but if somebody wants to help and and and, and donate what, what's the best way to do it visit our website yeah sitwithme.ca we uh, we, we give charitable do donations we are a registered charity okay. Uh, so we give receipts um, and uh, through Canada Helps, it's all done through there. But if you go to our website, all the information is there. Wonderful. And all the event information on, on the website as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Ashley, really appreciate you joining us. Thank, thank, you. thank you so much. And you as well, Erica, thank you so much for joining us. And these puppies, I'm, I'm going <laughs> to come down. I, I'm just going to lift you up. Okay, we'll be back with more right after this. Don't go anywhere. Yes. Oh, I want to take you home.